We all know that agriculture impacts the food you eat, but did you know it can also impact the water you drink? Let's take a look at one of the ways that can happen that starts right here in the field, nitrate runoff. Nitrates come from one of the building blocks of the earth, an element called nitrogen. Nitrogen makes up 78% of Earth's atmosphere. It is literally all around us every day. Farmers add nitrogen to their fields by spreading animal manure or a synthetic fertilizer to give crops like corn the nitrogen they crave. The problems start when the soil is warm and wet and there aren't any crops growing. Microbes in the ground turn nitrogen into nitrate. Something about nitrate is that it is highly soluble and moves with water very easily. So if there's nitrate in the soil that's not being used by the plant, it can leach into the water system. And that can be bad because too much nitrate in drinking water can be unhealthy. It can cause health problems for infants and pose possible risk for cancer. The Environmental Protection Agency allows only 10 milligrams per liter in drinking water. If it's higher than that, utility companies have to clean it out using ion exchange or reverse osmosis or electrodialysis. All very complicated and potentially expensive. So how do you fix the problem? One of the best ways to prevent nitrate from leaching is to spread precise amounts of fertilizer at exactly the right time. Another is to plant cold weather cover crops. Planting oats or rye or alfalfa in the off season can help hold the nitrate at the top of the soil profile and prevent it from running down into the water system. So when it comes to nitrate runoff, a little prevention can go a long way. For more in-depth information on nitrates and how they can affect our water system, check out our stories at harvestpublicmedia.org.